Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a video to give you a quick heads up that there is a scam that's doing the rounds according to posts over on Reddit that is mainly affecting Windows 10 devices, but also affecting Windows across the board. That is a login screen that's showing up randomly with the Microsoft blocked message. And this is a image and a obviously a photo taken from one of those posts over on Reddit where more and more Windows users on the platform are reporting that devices have been affected recently. Now what this is all about, and I think it goes without saying that this is a scam, and what this means is that in the past you've talked to scammers and given them access to your PC, which I would never recommend. So this is a common tactic by scammers that they use to get you to call back and obviously pay them out the money or the ransom or they, until you pay the money then obviously they won't unlock your PC. And according to Reddit, um, this is encrypted quite deep in the registry and requires an admin account that set it to change it. And it's quite an in-depth process to try and fix this and your average Joe will not fix this. That's why I'm just giving you a heads up just to give you a, a couple of um, tips and recommendations how to avoid this. And it will take a, you know, a person with a bit of tech savvy to actually sort this problem out. Now, a couple of things you can do to avoid this issue, which you have heard me talk about on the channel previously, is first of all, I wouldn't even give scammers the time of day. Never open emails with suspicious links or download files from suspicious links or dodgy websites and untrustworthy sources. I would completely stay away from dodgy websites. I think that is where most problems start when it comes to Windows and viruses and scams and malicious um, you know, software attacks and so on. And I would make sure that you change your password regularly and also include enabling two-factor authentication or even multi-factor authentication if you can do that. So that's just a couple of tips. But nonetheless, just putting it out there so we're all on the same page. And I think if you are practicing good computing habits and taking responsibility for what you're doing online, this will not happen to you. But just putting it out there just to keep us all on the same page. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.